Hello students, welcome back. In this video, you will learn about the concept of place value. Later, we will do forward counting. So, let's go ahead. Welcome to the place value house. Here, we will talk about ones, tens and hundreds. These are like three rooms over here. There are some rules in this that have to be followed. One of the rules says that you can have only one digit in each room. Now you must be wondering that what is a digit? Well, a digit is any number from 0 to 9. Also, you can say digits are the parts of a number like there are three parts in this number so these are three digits likewise there are two parts in this number so these these will be called two di two digits pretty simple isn't it and this is one digit now moving back to the place value house as I earlier said, there are rules in this house and one of the rules says there can be only one digit in each room. Let me show you what I mean. This is the number 2. It is a digit. Let's have a look at another number. This is number 20. Can you tell me if this number has more than one digit? Yes, as 2 is a digit and 0 is also a digit. Uh-oh, this is wrong. We cannot put both numbers in the ones room. We have to split them and put them in their proper, proper rooms. This is still the number 20. We have just changed their places and put 0 in the 1's room and 2 in the 10's room. Alright, moving on. What is place value? Place value is the value of each digit in a number. Let us use the place values. So, this is the first example. Alright, just think which digit is at the one's place. Yes, it's number 2. Then, which digit is at tens place? It is digit 0. Good job. Similarly, which digit is at the hundreds place? It is 1. Great. Likewise, this is another example. 7 is at 1's place, 4 is at the tens place and 2 is at the hundreds place. All right. Now, moving ahead to the forward counting from 1 to 100. This you have already done in your previous class as well. First of all, you will mention the date and day on the top left corner of the margin. Then, on its opposite side, you will write CW. After that, give heading as forward counting. And in brackets, put 1 to 100. And do mention 1s, 10s and 100s on the top of each number as per the requirement. Alright. Now, same work you have to do in your book as well. It's on page number 6 and 8. Alright. That's it for this video. 
if you find it useful don't forget to tap that like button and if you are new to my channel do subscribe it for more such videos thanks for watching have a wonderful day